Maintenance and Calibration of the Conductivity Sensor The conductivity sensor measures the ability of water to conduct electricity across a set distance between graphite conductors of a known size. When the conductivity is known, the salinity and total dissolved solids can be calculated and displayed. Maintenance Keeping the equipment up to date with the most recent firmware is important to ensure proper function of the equipment. Update notices will occur when the Hydrolab operating software, also referred to as HAAS, is connected to the internet. When a sonde is connected and updates are available, it is recommended to proceed with all updates. The sonde's updates can be confirmed by selecting the Update Firmware button in the Settings menu. The conductivity sensor should be regularly cleaned because debris, organisms, and other contaminants in the sensor's cell will have a negative impact on the accuracy and stability of the readings. If deposits on the sensor are difficult to remove, soak the sensor in warm, fresh water until the deposits soften. Never use organic solvents such as acetone or methanol on any part of the sensor. The inside of the cell should be cleaned out after every deployment with a cotton swab or small brush. Additionally, prior to calibration of conductivity, all sensors should be cleaned. Any residue or debris on the sensors may contaminate the conductivity standards and change their value, resulting in an inaccurate calibration. Calibration Important! The conductivity sensor requires a two-point calibration. Calibrate conductivity before LDO, depth, nitrate, ammonium, and chloride sensors as these sensors are dependent on the conductivity readings. Ensure that the desired temperature compensation method has been selected for your application in the Sensor tab of the Hydrolab operating software. The default compensation method is Hydrolab Fresh. Establish a connection to the sonde with the Hydrolab operating software. Select your HL series sonde from the Connect to Device list and click the Connect button to connect to the sonde. When the sonde finishes its initialization, click the calibration button in the navigation bar, then click conductivity in the sensors list on the left-hand side. Click the start calibration button at the bottom to begin the conductivity sensor calibration. For additional guidance, on-screen instructions are available on the right-hand side of the screen. Ensure all sensor maintenance has been performed prior to calibrations. For the first conductivity calibration point, the sensor must be completely dry to achieve the zero reading. Enter the number zero into the standard text box. Click Next to proceed. The stabilization process will begin and must complete successfully before proceeding to the second calibration point. To achieve the best results, the second calibration point should be higher than your expected conductivity value during the deployment. Rinse three times with deionized water by pouring a small amount of deionized water into the calibration cup, replacing the cap, and shaking vigorously for approximately six seconds. Now rinse three times with the desired standard by pouring a small amount of the conductivity standard into the calibration cup, replacing the cap, and shaking vigorously for approximately six seconds. Fill the storage cup up with conductivity standard, making sure that the oval hole in the conductivity sensor and the temperature sensor are completely submerged in standard. Be sure to check that there are no bubbles inside the conductivity cell as these will interfere with the measurement. Enter the value of the conductivity standard into the standard text box. Click Next to proceed. The stabilization process will begin and must complete successfully before the calibration can be saved. To accept the calibration, select Save Calibration. Calibration Check After calibration, it is recommended to perform a calibration check to verify that the sensor slope is correct. You can access the calibration check in the calibration tab of the Hydrolab operating software. Follow the instructions on the right side of the screen. To perform a calibration check, you will need a standard with a value that was not used in calibration. Be sure to follow the same steps of rinsing the sensor in deionized water as well as rinsing with the selected standard for optimal results. When the calibration check is finished, you will see the measured value as well as the percentage of difference from the known standard value. The user can adjust the calibration interval or add a log note. When the desired settings have been changed, the user may choose to keep the calibration date, extend the calibration date, recalibrate now, or cancel the check. Your calibration check is now complete.